I don't think I got those on video. What's going on, YouTube? All right, so I did some river uh, fishing for some striped bass and did pretty good. However, I had technical issues with my video cam, so I did not get the footage. I was using a Savage Gear uh, swim bait. Nah, you don't know what I do with my uh, <coughs> damn multi tool. As you can see here, I was already done uh, taking the hooks out of the fish's mouth. The first cast I hooked up to a smaller striper, and then the second cast right after I hooked up to that nice big striped bass. Um, you can see here I'm looking for my multi tool. I could not find it. And then I actually actually did find it here in the water. Um, after this spot, we decided to go hit the Avi the Casino water? in Laughlin, Nevada, and uh, you guys will see some uh, fishing footage there. Where? Where? Oh, yep, there she is. Sweet. Oh, oh. Right, yeah, it's got him. Yep. Oh. <laughs> got him. Huh. Ah. Damn, dude, three in a row. I'm dropping. Three, three fish today. Ah, come on, slow down. Right when we got here to the Avi Casino, uh, I started hooking up on fish. This is a smaller striper. Uh, all my fish lately I've been just throwing back, not really uh, making the decision to bring them home and eat them or nothing. Uh, more or less just doing sport fishing, but you can see the pretty good size striper is not too bad. Uh, as I stated, this is a smaller one here. Hey, so far, not bad. The last two, I don't know if I recorded. Hopefully I did, but if not, I'll bring in the pictures so you guys can see them. Stay tuned for more fishing. <laughs> this was beyond one of the funniest moments ever. Uh, I dipped an anchovy in stink bait, hoping to hook up to a catfish. And uh, to our surprise, a largemouth bass decided to... Uh, Go ahead and take the bait. Usually largemouth bass don't go for anchovies or stink bait, so we got a kick out of it. <laughs> Alright YouTube, I don't know what the fuck's going on, but today I got some crazy luck. <laughs> that is an anchovy and stink bait. <laughs> Large mouth. Large mouth bass. I've been on a road today, boy. <laughs> oh, it's too funny, dude. What the fuck? Oh, God. Stay tuned for the release. Now, we had some crazy monsoon weather. A lot of thunder, a lot of uh, rain. Heavy storms, and I think due to the monsoon weather, a lot of the other species of fish besides catfish are starting to uh, react differently. Uh, stripers are hitting hard, bass are eating just about anything, and catfish are in the spawn. What the fuck is that, Tony's? All right, dude, catch and release, and he's gone <laughs> on an anchovy and stink. What's going on YouTube? All right, so I didn't get as much good footage as I would have had liked to. And I was pretty upset with the fact that my actual first two casts with the Savage Gear uh, glide bait, um, I hooked on the two really nice stripers. And I don't know what it was. I just didn't have my camera set up properly. I thought I was recording uh, while I was casting and I got none of the footage whatsoever. I was very upset with it. And that was actually my first time ever using the Savage Gear. I'll give you guys a glimpse here of what it is. It's the Savage Gear. Uh, this is the Trout Color 165. And I mean, first cast threw it out, I was like, boom. It's basically a twitch bait. 
And so I cast it out, gave it a couple of twitches, which gives it the swim effect where it kind of twitches while it swims. And I nailed the smaller striper. And then I released that one. I did a whole release. I, I thought I had it all recorded the whole time. And I thought I did a release video and all that and let the fish go. Then I went and cast it out again and hooked up to the really uh, big striper. And then I you know took off the hooks and i thought i did a release and then i thought i turned off the camera but then i accidentally turned the camera on um so i really missed out on uh giving you guys some really good footage with those stripers uh but that's the savage gear and you know what i'm starting to i, I can't talk down on it I'm, I'm loving it uh usually i swim the s waivers which i'll show you here in a second if i can get these hooks on tangled Usually I swim the S waivers and I had a bigger version which was the 168 and what happened was I did a bass tournament and left my fishing uh, setup which is basically what you're seeing now. This is a duplicate. Uh, I had that on top. I set that on top of the Jeep and drove off and did not realize it and it got ran over in traffic. I'll bring you guys the damage here in a minute. Let me see. So here's the one that got actually ran over. You guys seen, I did a review on this. Uh, it was pretty upsetting um, with this being ran over. My Mitchell 300 reel got ran over. Uh, my rod got ran over. My S waiver 168 trout color got ran over. And so as you can see now, I replaced it all with brand new, basically the same thing, the Mitchell 300 reel and the Daiwa uh, Jupiter rod. Uh, it's a beautiful combo and I just I had to get another one uh, but anyways uh, I didn't want to cut this video off you know with that last footage at the RV so what I wanted to bring in is let's talk uh, swim baits and what I use and what I find most effective for striped bass largemouth bass and smallmouth bass uh, I kind of have it separated to where this is mainly my large mouth and small mouth bass crank baits and stuff uh, the salmo boxer these things are phenomenal these things catch fish like crazy and i mean they only run five bucks you can't go wrong with that uh, if you guys need a link for the description or if you guys need a link to purchase these let me know or you can just google search salmo boxers and they'll pop up i use the bass color those things are, I mean, those things are hot, especially on the lake. That's what you guys see me catching a lot of the bass with on the lake. Uh, just recently, we, here in Arizona, we had some heavy monsoon storms. Uh, we had water advisories to where we couldn't drink the tap water. Uh, we had Red Cross out here giving water out to uh, Laughlin, Nevada, and Bullhead City residents. I personally am... Um, uh, how would you state it a prepper so we already had water and everything so we were pretty well set um, but during monsoon storms what I'm trying to get to is the fish get really active and really crazy when the storms are actually hitting the fish are gonna lay low until the storm passes through and once that storm passes through uh, fish just go berserk on just about anything as you guys seen uh, I hooked onto a largemouth bass dipped uh, on an anchovy dipped in stink bait. And I literally got a kick out of that because usually uh, largemouth bass, smallmouth bass do not eat dead bait. Uh, they only go for like lures or live bait. And so literally pissed myself in laughter um, just for the fact that that bass ate that anchovy. I mean literally gutted that anchovy all the way down with nasty stink bait on it. Um, I've been putting stink bait on my anchovies lately because we're having a lot of striper issues, baby striper issues, to where they're, we're trying to go for the bigger fish, but the baby stripers are tearing off our anchovies before the bigger fish could even get to it. So I've been using stink bait and hoping for, you know, just some catfish fishing. Uh, anyways, talking about swim baits, you guys know about the S waiver. I've done a review on that. These things are crazy. So, I mean, if you guys are in a search for some good lures, go for the S waiver. Uh, this is a River 2C S waiver trout color. This is the 120. It's a smaller version, about palm size. 
but this thing is effective i've caught a lot of big stripers on that bass will also hit these just to let you guys know uh, i got a lot of crankbaits top water is really effective for morning and new or like basically morning and uh dusk fishing top water and i got like top water frogs stuff like that we have a lot of ponds and things here that i cast out the frogs to uh cast out the frogs in the ponds and stuff uh this is another another savage gear glide bait this is the smaller version compared to the one that i was casting out in the trout color uh this is the bluegill color and effective for bass big time so basically that covers it all i mean crank baits and swim baits for stripers and bass which are you know the, that's it's really effective uh jumping into like soft baits i also use i mean everything i cast out swim baits uh we got the storm swim baits the rapalas these are savage gear boot tails these work really effective you can see these things been munched on quite some time i mean you could go as simple as getting a uh, little swim base like this and using a jig head Moving on down to the soft baits. I'm really not going to get in too much depth. I just wanted to pretty much show my tackle to you guys. Uh, for bass, I customize my own spinner baits. You guys can see here. Bass go ape crap over these. They love them. And as you can see, I customize my own um, skirts. Really easy to do. You guys can watch videos on YouTube on how to do it. And I mean, you can literally just buy rubber bands, cut the rubber bands in half, strain them out some bit, and then use them as skirts. And you see, I have a bunch of empty ones here that need some modifying and need some skirts to be added to them. I'll buy these at Walmart for like a buck, and then I'll customize my own skirts to them. Uh, you can also put these kind of swim baits on them, such as that. And I mean, you just pretty much put the hook through to where it's like this, and then you got, you know, a nice swim bait like that with an actual flash to it uh, my setup as I sh pretty much stated in a lot of my videos is the Mitchell 300 uh, reel I'll take that off take off the cover here Mitchell 300 reel I run 30 pound spider wire with a 25 pound leader line I use an all bright uh, all bright knot Sorry about all the movement. I mean, this ain't the best video, but I just like to share. I use an all bright knot to tie my braid to my leader line. This is 25 pound floral carbon. Floral. I use a Gamagatsu clip. This is an 80 pound test clip. And I use a San Diego jam knot to hook that on. And what's really awesome about the clip is you don't have to continuously tie your swim baits on your lures or whatnot um, you just use the clip and that basically saves you from losing your leader line because I mean the more times you switch out the shorter your leader line is going to get then you got to tie a new leader line on so uh, fishing's been pretty good guys uh, I do want to get out and do some shooting videos for you guys uh, it's just the summer heat's been beyond crazy I know a lot of you guys are dying for some running gun footage but Honestly, it'd be crazy for me to get out there in 120 degree heat and try to do some running gun videos. I mean, I'm getting old and trying to sit out there in the sun and do some shooting videos for you guys is pretty much just on safe, I guess you would consider it as. Uh, I am going to probably go hit the shooting range here sometime soon and just basically get some footage like that for you guys. Uh, nothing's pretty much changed. I mean, I just, everything right now is just the fishing season. Uh, I can't wait till coyote season comes back into effect and uh, hunting season and everything else. So stay tuned for those videos. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are like kind of not enjoying the fishing videos too much, but I apologize for that. I mean, that's just the season that it is right now. And I wish I can get out there and do some running gun footage for you guys. I love doing running guns. I mean, that's basically what my channel is based on. I might get some uh, survival f uh, videos going and prepping and stuff like that. I've been doing a lot of prepping lately and first aid kit and, and food and water. And actually what was really cool about, you know, having my preps 
is as I stated, we had a really bad monsoon storm that hit us. Our water got contaminated, which led to Red Cross having to come out and bring us water and food and stuff like that. And uh, I was pretty much already set. I had water, we had food and everything else. So we were pretty much good, me and my family in my house. But a lot of other homes weren't prepped. They didn't have water. And so they had to depend on Red Cross to pretty much help them out. Well, that's pretty much it from this video. If you guys have any uh, questions regarding my swim baits, my lures, or how I set up my uh, anchovy pose or anything like that, feel free to ask the question. Please thumbs up. Much love and respects. And I promise next time I get some big fish, I'll make sure I record it and I don't screw up my recordings. I apologize for that. I'm up and out. Lines tight. Shoot straight. And God bless. Peace.